So by now you have all seen my popular video, Blocks Fruits, but my bill gets better. Well, I'm about to go Gojo Reversal Red right on you with this. Blocks Fruits, but my bill gets worse. So basically, I'll be killing every single boss in the game, starting with the weakest boss by using the strongest fruit and sword, and they downgrade after each boss fight. Starting by killing the Gorilla King with the Kitsune and the two Triple Yoru. Let's get it. Don't mind the fact that I got a bunch of commands underneath my screen. I'm an admin now. Uh, let's go ahead and transform first. Hit him with a couple attacks with the Kitsune, transform back, finish him off with the Yoru. It really is that easy. Trust me, it's only going to get impossibly more difficult later on. And to make matters even more interesting, my friend Jet just started his YouTube channel. And each time I die or fail to kill a boss, I must give him the permanent version of the fruit that I died with. I appreciate that. Hey, don't thank me because I'm not going to die. <laughs> okay, you better not die. <laughs> All right, so our second boss is going to be Bobby. And of course, we move down to the leper fruit as well as the CDK. The second best fruit and sword in the game. I don't even think I'm going to be using the sword, to be honest. I think this is going to be another easy pack. And we're gonna be moving on from here pretty quickly. Whoa, where'd he go? There you are, buddy. Hey. You know what? I felt so bad about that. I'm gonna kill him with the swords too. Pew. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Boss number three, we got Saw versus the Dragon and Dark Blade. We also got an Enchanted Dark Blade too. It's not just any regular Dark Blade. Damn. Oh, by the way, here are my stats. Hybrid stats. A little bit of cheating, but that's fine. No worries. All right, we got a transformation. This is absolutely pandemonium. Wait, how's he not dead though? Bro, this guy's resilient. Uh, hello, Yeti. Meet Spirit and Hollow Scythe. Let's get this going. You know what, guys? See, I would feel bad if I wasn't having so much fun. Let's use the Hollow Scythe a little bit. Let's not let our sword go to waste. Oh my god, that was way too fast. See, I'm laughing now, but it's gonna get real difficult for me real soon. Probably will be crying before the end of this video, so I gotta enjoy this moment while it lasts. So mob leader is next. We got the control and the true triple katana. Honestly, control fruit, it's pretty trash, so I might even struggle with this one. Boom! Oh, here are my stats, by the way, guys. Uh, you guys already know. Echo knife. It feels so wrong doing this move on a first C boss. Yeah, this room is bigger than the entire island itself. We gotta remember to use the true triple katana, too. I didn't even get to use the Dragon Hurricane, man. All right, we got Venom and Yama versus the Vice Admiral. We're already moving on to the Legendary Sword. Now, I do want to do a transformation, but let me hit him with the... Ooh. And one of these? Oh, yeah. He's already half health, bro. It's been a fun run, Vice Admiral, but uh, how's he still alive? There we go. Have y'all ever seen a fully transformed Venom fighting bosses in the first scene? I haven't. All right, skipping all the way to level 200 already from 130. Here are my stats. We got Shadow and the Toshida versus Shanks. So here's the thing, guys. The swords are in no particular order other than my personal opinion, okay? If you disagree, you're wrong. What I'm trying to say is that the Yama's better than the Tushita. You could pull off a pretty good Yama shadow combo. I haven't done it in a while. Woo! Corvus Torment. Oh, that's that combo. Now he's dead. All right, next up, we got Warden versus Doe and Shark Anchor. Honestly, this feels like such a waste. I don't even want to use it against this little pipsqueak. Get over here. Yeah, get in this. Oh, yeah. Water breathing 17th form. Uh, hit him with one of these. Those spins and then hit him with one of these shark anger spins. <laughs> <laughs> Staying put on Prison Island, we got T-Rex and Fox Lamp versus the Chief Warden. It sounds funny just when I say it. Here are my stats. You're like a wizard with a sword. Wee! Wow, that did almost next to no damage. Okay. Right, you know what? Let's go hit some mobs just to get our fury meter up because I want to transform and kill him. Where is he? Ah! <laughs> Why did my voice is cracked there? Jeez. Guys, I haven't used this fruit since it came out. I forgot how crazy this is. It's taking a while to kill him, though. It's kind of weak. High key. All right, still on this island, we got Don Swan. Wait, is it just Swan Boss, actually? Yeah, it's just Swan. No Don. And to fight him, we got Mammoth and Spiky Trident. Let me transform in this tiny little room. Could I even maneuver? Imagine being stuck in a little chamber with a giant mammoth stomping on you. This is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna push him. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. He almost got me. Bro, this guy's actually hella strong. There we go. Bro, I cut that way too close. All right, no more messing around, man. Sorry, we got Magma Emerald versus Gravity, and looks like it's on sight with this guy. Yeah! What are we gonna do about this? Here, hold some of this. The one's not enough for you? Why don't you, why don't you have more? We have so many harder bosses to fight with so much worse fruits. Hey, there we go. All right, let's get out of here. All right, Blizzard, Dark Dagger, Fishman Lord. Honestly, guys, this might be a little bit difficult. Fishman Lord, he has two forms, but he doesn't know I got my secret move. Domain Expansion! Thank <laughs> you. 
Bro, that's dealing crazy. Lizard is a sick fruit. Why didn't none of y'all tell me I could just estimate my opponents with this fruit? No, like Shuriken. This fruit can do it all. One more time. Why not? Just for fun. Okay, we're gonna do a cool thing where we walk away. Oh, he died too quick. I can't believe we're already fighting a level 500 boss. Here are my stats now. So for our setup, we got the pain, which is pretty painful. No pun intended. But luckily, we're gonna get carried by our Rengoku, so it'll be fine. Look, I even got the flame enchantment. Let me actually use this fruit. Come on, pain. Inflict pain on my enemies. Let him feel it. Oh, dude, I'm almost dead. Come on, man. No, no. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Woo -hoo -hoo. So this is actually pretty poetic. I got the rumble versus the thunder guy. Level 575 and oh yeah, of course, the saber. This is a pretty good build. How does it feel to be beaten by your own powers, thunder god? We actually did this not long ago with beating bosses with their own abilities. Drop the bomb on him. Call in the nuke. I think it's only fitting that we beat him with the rumble attack. So for the cyborg boss, we got portal and shisui. Level 675. We're gonna get him into our diamond dimensional domain okay so we can't do that for bosses ew that disgusting diarrhea far he let out bro all right you're dead we're gonna get him stuck there's a new strat and want him to death i'm one him before he moves ah the fart bomb escape slash him come on oh no 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 i'm not dying we did it shouldn't be this tough but it is so after a little bit of server hopping we are now fighting graybeard okay we got phoenix and wando coming up next i'm just gonna go straight to it before he despawns also guys just for foi for raid bosses i'm gonna use all my stats okay i don't even care otherwise it just would not be possible wando not a great sword honestly phoenix uh what can we do here yeah this could be a tough solo but i'm prepared i'm prepared for this good thing i could regenerate my health i mean that probably would make a difference i likely won't die i just want to make sure I can kill him on time. This is actually a pretty good bill for a raid boss. I should've been doing this from the beginning. Oh gosh. Okay, hold on. This is absolutely 7,000 IQ plays. Comment down below. Let me know if you would've thought of this strat. I doubt it. I'm too cerebral. I'm too smart. We're gonna try to do this without regenning. Is it possible? I think it absolutely is. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving to the second C and trust me, this is going to get very, very difficult. So we made it to the second C. Didn't really struggle in the first. Let's see how it's gonna be in the second C. I got my sound fruit as well as a Sadi to go up against Diamond Boss. Level 750. Here are my stats. Let's get it going. Glorious Harmony. Sound fruit is honestly pretty good, so I don't think I'll be struggling. I am gonna be able to use Observation and Armin Mahaki in the second C. Otherwise, it just would be impossible. So oh, I can't see a thing. Let's go. And we got the long sword. Jeremy, level 850. Here are our stats. We got the spider and the pole V2. Honestly, I'm not sure if this is even a downgrade. Spider fruit is super nasty. Look at this thing. Revamp Pol V2, honestly, was not very impressive, but this sword is already so damn good, it doesn't even matter. Another easy boss kill. Thought I'd be struggling a little more in the second C, but honestly, we're still on the legendary fruit, so it should be pretty good, at least for the next couple of boss kills. So while my build is getting worse in blocks fruits, my build in War Thunder is actually pretty stacked right now. Speaking of War Thunder, they also happen to be today's sponsor. <laughs> What a coincidence. Let's take a minute to talk about this great game. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made and is available for free on PC and consoles. All right, guys, let's be honest. The games on Roblox are a little dry right now. So if you're in the market for some extremely fun games, well, look no further. In War Thunder, you can choose between thousands of tanks, planes, battleships, and helicopters. With over 70 million players across the entire universe, you're never going to run out of in-game content and noobs to dominate. These historically accurate vehicles span across 10 different nations and an entire century worth of time. With countless options for customization with decors and camels, you can seriously drip out your vehicle. Just look at this one. Just imagine your very own avatar as a tank. I don't have to because I'm already one, as you can see. But we're not just talking about quantity. The quality of this game is literally peak. It's, it's the best of both worlds. When you launch into the game, you immediately get warped into the most immersive and hyper-realistic experience possible. It's euphoric. The game pays attention to every teensy tiny detail from the graphics to the sound effects, and it really shows in the gameplay. Here's an example. Every single vehicle is a replica of the real thing down to every small component. Each has their own unique physical characteristics, so it's up to you to find the one that's perfectly suited for your style of combat. So don't wait up, hop right into battle with a game mode that's suited for you. We got arcade mode for fast paced action, realistic for a balance between realism and action, and simulator where you pretty much feel like you're inside the tank at that point. All right, I know you're eager to start playing the game, so don't worry, I got you. Sign up right now with my link in the pinned comment or description, and any new player or existing player who hasn't played in six months will receive a USA bonus pack. This includes premium vehicles, exclusive Eagle of Valor decor, 100,000 silver lines, 
Alliance, EXP, and Silver Booster, 7 days of premium account, and so much more, I literally ran out of breath telling you. <gasps> Not much more to be said. You gotta try out this masterpiece for yourselves. And if I ever catch you online, Fajita, Love Fruit, Povey One, no time to waste. Let's get it. Hold on. We're gonna do a flamingo right? And we're just gonna hit him from up here. There's nothing you can do about it. Some might call this cheating, but it's part of the game. So don't hate the player, hate the game. All right, let's finish him off with the pole. Easy! Give me that mastery. Okay, we got Buddha and Midnight Blade versus Don Swan. I mean, need I say more? This is about to be over in 30 seconds. Let's go. Oh, yeah! Crescent Dash? What the hell was that, dude? Hold on, let's transform out. Let's finish him off with the greatest move in Blocks Roots history. Yeet! Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Holy, that was close. Totally worth the yeet, though. We'll do it again, 100%. All right, boys, we got another raid boss coming up next. So we'll be using the Quake and the Coco, kind of like cosplaying as Whitebeard going up against Darkbeard. All right, let's go, man. Shouldn't be too difficult. I am human race for this fight, as you guys noticed. I'm hoping to get my Awakening, but I don't think I'm going to end up getting the Awakening at this rate. Oh, crap, my health is kind of low now. I got to be careful. Woo! I'm activating V3. No, 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 no. Ain't no way I'm dying, bro. Miss me with that. Oh, yeah. Making a comeback. I wasn't scared even a bit no oh my god dude no way i'm not dying die die come on let's go <laughs> oh that was way too close all right let's get the hell out of here we're already well over the level 1000s here 1150 versus the smoke admiral we got magma and Pacenta. Uh, so back to fighting a regular boss feeling pretty confident i can't even see what is going on bro we're covering this entire building here let's come let's take this fight out into the lava bet you won't wait how does he not get damaged that's not bs bro N npc plot armor that round it up let's move on very much not looking forward to this next boss fight <sighs> that's right guys the moment we've all been dreading i got the ghost fruit with 150 mastery by the way as well as the warden sword versus order i'm not a betting man but if i was i would bet against me beating this boss it's not gonna happen good thing is i do have two lives though so that's gonna be good let's see how we can fare with this guy remember if i fail to beat him within the time limit i also lose the challenge guys so i'm on a time crunch as well i gotta hurry it up yeah i get distracted by my ghost yo we already did 30k damage that's not bad I fully expected to die here, guys, but I think I'm actually putting up a pretty decent fight. I think the clone helped a lot than I expected. Get him, my minions, get him. Bro, the ghost fruit is kind of underrated, yo. This thing is OP for boss fights. And I have an extra life? Yo, I think we're pretty set. Oh, man, he's spamming now. Man turned into a straight-up teleportation spammer, bro. Let's go! We actually did it! I'm the ghost! We just soloed order with a ghost fruit. Forgive me for, uh, you know, overreacting or not, but I have never beaten the order boss with without anything except the Buddha. So this is a big achievement for me. All right, so we got the barrier fruit as well as the dragon trident next versus the cursed captain. No time to waste. What am I supposed to do with this? Bro, if I now solo this guy with a barrier, I think I'd be unstoppable. I think we're doing this whole challenge without giving up any fruit. Yo, there's a guy in here. Don't just stand there. Come help me. I can't officially ask him for help, but he does decide to come and help. I'm not gonna stop him. Yo, the Buddha guy's actually doing work. Come on, we can do it, Buddha. You and me, bro. It's you and me. I won't let you die, bro. I won't let you die again. Let's go. Hey, I'm just gonna take like 99% of the credit there because this Buddha guy barely did anything. So that counts, okay? Back to something that should be a little bit easier. We got the Awakened Ice Admiral versus my Rubber and the Soul King. Got all my stats at 1,400. Let's go. Jet to Gatlinger! Combo, combo. Let's go. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. No! 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 Bro, my first L wasn't even a raid boss? You've gotta be joking, dude. I want my revenge. That's some BS. I can't believe I fumbled that one. As much as I hate to say it. Three perm rubber for Jet. Add that to the tally. That'll be your first and last perm fruit, bro. Okay, we're gonna be fighting the Tide Keeper next. A level 1475. I got the light and the pipe as well. The library key. Maybe we get the other key from this guy. Anyway, it's on sight. I'm not dying this time, bro. After just soloing two raid bosses, I died to the Awakened Ice Admiral. I got a pretty good fruit now, though, so should be a piece of cake, I think. Oh, he summoned his buddy. Hey, you don't see me calling my friends for help. What the hell is this? Dude, nowhere in the rules did it say I had to fight this guy, man. That's some BS. Dude, Dude, I feel so confident. I'm just gonna M1 him to death. It's not even risky, guys. Don't even worry about it. That's how it's done, baby. And with that, we cleared the second C. I was this close to not dying. I'm still mad about that. I know I said the second C is gonna be hard, but the third C is gonna be real tough. We made it to the third C. I got the diamond fruit and the long sword versus the stone boss, level 1550. And crust! <laughs> Things are starting to get real serious, so I got my tried hard pants on. It's going down. Thank God the stone boss only uses the bomb fruit, so it should be... Ooh, 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 okay. I'm doing some crazy M1 damage. Let's go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, boy. You can't hurt me. I am made out of diamond. I'm unbreakable. All right, hailing in at level 1675, we got Island Empress. I gotta use the dark fruit as well as the gravity cane. Here are my 
my stats. I think, honestly, this is not too bad of a matchup. Like, I'm not too majorly concerned, but I have died to her in the past doing these videos. Get in my endless hole! I'm an idiot. Why am I standing so close? I made a fatal mistake, guys. I got overconfident yet again, and that'll be the death of me, I'm pretty sure. Make this comeback. Let's make this... Oh, no! It's so over. Come on! I'm dying way too often. This is way too hard. That's what she said. But this is way too hard. God took every single molecule of trash and combined it to make one person. And that's what I became. This is so embarrassing. All right, let's, let's move on, I guess. So after that atrocity, we're now down to the sand fruit as well as the dual-headed blade. Going up against the Kilo Admiral, the only character in the game that still has the mythical Kilo fruit. So it's gonna be tough. Okay, here are my stats. Let's get this going. Don't give him a chance to fight back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that revamp headed blade. It's gonna take a while, guys. So you can skip this fight if you want because, uh, spoiler alert, I am going to win. Yeah, look, she can't hit me, dude. These kilo moves, as legendary as they might be, in the hands of the wrong user, they can't be used to their full potential. The range on the sand fruit is pretty good. Unlike the stupid dark fruit. Blaming the fruit, man. Not blaming myself. I don't like taking responsibility for my own failures. All right, a couple more. This is it. There we go. All right, next up, we got Captain Elephant, Ice Fruit, as well as the Trident. Honestly, I'm pretty happy about this setup. All right, let's try to give this a go. He's got a crazy amount of health, you know? That's the problem. No idea how to use this trident, guys. M1 to death! Oh, he got unfrozen so quick! Bro, if I do somehow manage to kill him without dying, it's gonna be the longest fight ever. This man has so much health. I must use the power that defeated me earlier to defeat my enemies now. I must become one with the Awakened Ice Admiral. Ooh, yo, we're getting close. Last combo. Boom! I told y'all! That's all we do! Alright, don't get hyped. There's much more difficult fights coming. Alright, I think I'm ready. No, I'm not. I don't think I'll ever be ready. Oh, uh, we got Flame and Twin Hooks versus the Beautiful Pirate. Here goes nothing. So going forward, guys, I won't have any more stats to add, and that also sucks. So oh, Spirit Bomb! Oh, man, every time I get close, he hits me back. He keeps chasing me. This guy's relentless. He won't leave me alone. I'm gonna try to use more range attacks. How am I performing better against Beautiful Pirate with the Flame than against Island Empress with the Dark? Oh, no. This is pretty intense, guys. I'm putting on a show for y'all. Like the video. Yes, I'm awakening. I do not care. Y'all can say whatever you want. Your mistake was letting me get the fish before, buddy. All right, going up against Llama. No stats to add. Like I said earlier, we got our Walmart dough fruit as well as the triple katana. As you can see, I have no mastery on these two. So at least we got the dough. Let's go. Walmart dough fruit for the win. Bro, if I can pull this miracle off, I will actually feel like I'm unstoppable. Oh, yeah. Triple katana is kind of sick. Oh, you get it. No, 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 no. Oh, the combo. The spike combo. No, no, no. I'm not even mad. Permanent spike. You can have him. I don't even care. Oh, man. He's back to full health. Any progress you made is just gone. Oh, my God. Bro, I'm not even gonna. You can call me a coward. I'm not doing this. Jet is getting a spike anyway. There's no harm done. So that llama was a complete nightmare, which means this is not gonna be much more fun. Soul Reaper versus Smoke and Sharks. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing in my life, dude. What kind of range is this? Bruh, I just dealt 800 damage. Not even 1k. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. Oh, wait. The Smoke Blast does way more damage. What the hell was that first one? I guess I kind of just fumbled. Oh, I'm actually doing pretty decent work. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I gotta just try to stay alive. I mean, obviously. <laughs> what if I just bomb him from up here? Can he even hit me? Guys, I found a cheat never mind never mind i'm dead i am so dead nah i'm not going down this all right well i was gonna say i'm not going down this easy but clearly i am another fail <laughs> i don't think anybody's surprised right, well let's at least try to kill him bro if you didn't take down like so much of my health in one attack we could like slowly wear him down wait for him to throw his little attack there we go oh hit each other at the same time Ooh, 50k 50k we can do this and you the goat boss hunter ah let's go i, I don't know why i hyped. i lost <laughs> not gonna lie guys i've been taking a lot of l's in the third c so far Far, and I'm pretty sure that's not gonna stop. Coming up, we got the Cake Queen versus Bomb and Iron Mace. Should I even try this? Should I just give up the perm and move on? Nah, man. I ain't no quitter. Get in these mines, big mummy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in here. Oh, God. Good God. Step on the mines. Absolutely genius tactic. It's only gonna take me like half an hour to kill her. <gasps> oh, she doesn't see me. She's not moving for some reason. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's real mad now. All we gotta do is keep running around. She's gonna keep walking into these mines. Oh, she's standing still again. Dude, I found a perfect strategy. We're gonna win this, boys. Look at that combo. Oh, huh? Perfect for boss fights, actually. What if we kill her with self-destruct? I'm gonna try that. No! Oh, no! No! <laughs> oh, that did not work out. I like the mastery on the Iron Mace, though. I'll take that. Woo! We actually 
did it. But I think this win streak is going to end at one. Because coming up next, we got Cake Prince next with Spring and the Dual Katana. Why am I still even doing this challenge? I am going to be using my fighting style, though. I don't even care, man. Y'all can say whatever you want. Oh, God, it started. Don't mind that guy over there. That's just Uza monitoring, making sure everything goes right. Ha! Huh! Dual Katana. <laughs> I want him. I want him. No, not again. Dude, what is he even comboing me? I don't even know these are skills, bro. Oh, no. Okay, that is just stupid. I'm putting myself through not just physical, but mental torture. What? I apologize for every single time in my life that I dissed NPCs and blocks roots. Y'all are goats, man. I might not gotten raised before, though. Well, of course. Who would have guessed? Give Jet the perm spraying like I care. We're gonna do the Doe King next. Uzoth is gonna help us summon him because, uh, you know, I just, I can't be bothered to spawn him. Dude is level 9 billion. Imagine how easy this challenge would be for him. Because we're now fighting the Doe King with the chop and the cutlass. I'm not even gonna fathom potentially killing this guy. Let's just see how long it takes before I die. Timer starts. Bro, holy God. Oh my God. Yo, hey, yo. Yo. Give me at least 10 seconds, bro. I need double digit seconds. Chop tackle. Has anybody ever brought a chop to a doking fight? I really want to know. All right, well, that was 40 seconds. All right, let's move on, dude. I'm not even gonna, I'm done. Okay, final boss. I'm winning this one for sure. All right, guys, we have the most amazing overpowered build in all of Blocks Roots going on here. The Rocket and the Katana. So maybe we could last like a minute. <laughs> let's go. Also, if I'm being completely objective, the Rocket is just a much better food than the chop. Every way, shape, or form. Look at this. Can't do that with the chop. It started off so nice. I was killing Gorilla Kings with the Kitsune. Where, look where we ended up. <laughs> oh. Let's give ourselves one more shot at this guy. Whatever we finish off with, that'll be it. Oh, I forgot to use my fighting style. I'm such an idiot. I've spent too long not using it. I forgot it existed in the game. Oh, that makes a world of a difference. I'm about to solo this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm dead. All right, that's it, everybody. Let's wrap it up. All right, everybody. Just a quick recap. In this video, I died while using the rubber, dark, spike, smoke, spring, chop, and rocket. In total, that adds up to around 3,300 Robux. Well, Jets, I think you were very happy to see me die this many times since I'm not gonna hold any grudges. I'm just gonna let you pick one permanent fruit. Okay, um... Any perm? Any of them? Any perm, bro. How about the, uh, Kitsune? Of course, the Kitsune. It always <laughs> is the Kitsune. Oh, thank you, bro. There you go. Wait, let's equip it, let's equip it. Yes, sir. Thank you, that's awesome. Thank you once again, War Thunder, for sponsoring today's video, and in case you missed it the first time, if you're a new or returning player who hasn't played in the last six months, you will receive a USA bonus pack, including premium vehicles, exclusive Eagle of Valor decor, 100k silver lions, EXPM silver booster, seven days of premium accounts. Play free today on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox using my link in the pinned comment or description.